back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Casey and in today's video, I have decorated for Halloween. I am so excited to share all of the decorating fun with you guys. So get cozy, grab a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, a blanket, or if you're feeling motivated, you could decorate right along with me. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys, this isn't exactly where I wanted to get started at, but the very first file of decorating that I filmed got corrupt somehow, so it kind of just started abruptly. So I just wanna to explain to you what is going on here. I am decorating this little table behind our couch in the family room, and I added Mr. Skeleton here along with this witch broom and spooky tree that lights up. I just love everything that lights up. I can't wait until it all comes together at the end. I am just using a few of the items that were already on this table and I'm adding a glass pumpkin. I'm putting some little twinkle lights in there and putting a few of these little ghosty tea light holders that I got from Walmart a few years ago and just to add a little extra glow down there. <laughs> One of the things that I did that excited me so much was I put twinkle lights in these stems and I think they turned out so amazing. They look so magical. I really love them. I'm also adding this cute little ghosty wax warmer that I picked up this season at Walmart and I have an old vintage book and I'm using it to decorate a little spooky cloche with this monster hand that I got from HalloweenCostumes.com along with the skeleton and the witch broom here in this little display. Oh and I almost forgot the spooky skeleton dog. <laughs> spiderweb runner it is so beautiful I got it from home goods several years ago and then I don't know if this is a pottery barn bowl or a pottery barn dupe but I have this big bowl here I'm repurposing the decor in the room that I moved around this book was on that table so I'm just going to put it right here just kind of use it as a little layering piece because I like to stack things so I have this cute little ghost from TJ Maxx from a prior year. And I found this little boo sign in my Halloween tote. And of course, crystals. I have crystals all over the house and they're super spooky. I actually ordered a luminary cauldron to put here, but it didn't come in. It wasn't available, so I am using this ghost. I think I have a candle I wanna add. And then I'm gonna add my Midnight Autumn candle. This is the completed table. I know you can't see the lights very much, but wait until tonight. I will turn everything off and it will be so cozy.
at these sequin pumpkins. I am so excited to be styling this mantle for Halloween. Off camera, I already decorated with this banner from Home Goods, and I have a Halloween garland from Home Goods as well. And then I added that viral purple garland from Amazon. I will have it linked below. A few black and white pumpkins from a previous Home Goods Halloween shop with me, and these spooky black candles. And check out this fun skeleton pillow. It was one of the first things that I got from Home Goods this year for Halloween. I think he looks so cute sitting right here in the middle of everything. All right, you guys, I have been moving things around in here over the past few days, and I think I figured out how I want to style this space. I was gonna move this clock because it has been here for so long. I just kind of wanted to rearrange. Sometimes when you get a space set up, it's hard to just rearrange the whole room, especially when this is like our family TV room and this is the TV, so things really need to be centered toward that. So I had this behind the couch, but I did put that plant back there and it has been a game changer for this room. I'm loving it. I moved my Pottery Barn vase over here and I had these little or these big black stems from Home Goods, and I think another pack would do. But for now, I think these look really good. I could even put twinkly lights in them, but I don't know if that would be too much or not. Um, I have a set I might dry out later on. But speaking of twinkly lights, I'm going to bring my cauldron over here. I got this from Home Goods, and I just thought she was so glamorous and spooky. I love how bright it lights up. But the cutest thing of all is I finally splurged and got these Pottery Barn ghosts that I was so in love with last year, and I think they make the perfect addition to the fireplace. absolutely adorable i am in love with how this turned out i'm thinking about getting some more candles to put up here i just haven't decided i have some picked out on amazon they are different than these black ones so i can either replace the black ones and put a bunch more of a different kind or maybe add those to it or just keep it like this I know I said I was excited about decorating the mantle, but I am also excited about decorating this coffee table because this is the first coffee table I have ever had in this room. I found this on a really good sale at Home Goods for like 70 bucks. So I'm really excited to style it for the first time. I knew this gorgeous Rose Forever bouquet would be the perfect piece for this table. I love that they are real roses that last all year long. And right now for the month of October, they are donating 10% of every pink item sold to breast cancer research. I thought that was pretty cool. So if you wanna check them out, I will leave the link down below in the description. stems I think they're viral this year I've seen them all over but I will link these that I got from Amazon along with the matching garland which is up there on the mantle I thought this candelabra that I've had for years from home goods would be the perfect spooky vibe I've got all these twinkle lights in here I just ordered some battery operated taper candles but they are white so I can't wait to try those out
in and I am so in love with them. It's just so magical. I love it. Like such ambiance. Um, I do like taper candles, but they're not something that I would just put burning right here by all of this stuff. It's just too dangerous. Um, so I love this option. These are on Amazon. I will link them below. They are so perfect and I can use them for Christmas, really any holiday. <music> My Halloween hutch I've already decorated it it's one of my favorite things for the holiday season I am adding this orange pumpkin drink dispenser and the orange pumpkin mugs all glass from Walmart and they are super affordable I'm not sure if they are still available but I will link them below I just love them so much I just love collecting holiday serveware, the cookie jars, the serving platters, the bowls, the candy dishes, the drink dispensers. I even have a punch bowl and of course all the mugs and teapots. So much fun. And we can't forget the little salt and pepper shakers, the sugar and creamers. Ugh, so many different fun things to find. We are still not done decorating yet. I am decorating my porch and I think it turned out really good this year. I'm using this garland outside for the first time and I really love it. I got this wreath this year at Home Goods, and it matches perfectly. It looks like they were meant to be. The Halloween porch is so much fun. I just love all the mums and the bright orange. I have all of my jack-o'-lanterns from HalloweenCostumes.com and the spooky skeletons with all the bats. I just think it turned out so cute and Little Bear loves it too. I thought this video was done and then I remembered I forgot to show you the family room at night so here it is with the lights out and all of the cozy twinkly lights on I think it is so fun down here I just love turning all these lights on and coming down here in the evening and just enjoying the ambiance it's just the perfect area to watch all the spooky movies and it really sets the vibe it for today's video I hope you had fun decorating with me for Halloween make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because we still have more spooky decorating coming thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye